Okay, that's what I had to do. Crap. Okay, so, uh, wait a minute. Hang on now. Okay, why is it not showing it? Oh, well, I don't need that. Can anybody see me or hear me? Nope. Crap! Oh, I see my hand right there. Can anybody see me? Okay, maybe it's, maybe, okay. Okay. I think, I, I don't know what happened to my second camera. I had to hit go live in more than one spot, so. Uh, let me say hello to everybody. Hi, Amber. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sally. Hi, Roxy. Hi, JMP, I'm not sure who that is. And hi, Jonathan, I saw you earlier. Well, hello, Miss Brookie Cookie. Anyway, um, I'm doing resin tonight, but I am doing coffee cups. I'm, g and hello, Dina. Sorry that you can't see the other screen. Oh, hello, Julia. Um, sorry about that. Um, one of my cameras decided to quit, and then I had to hit live in more than one spot. Oh, hello, Tish. So, I don't know what happened to the other camera. So, I'm only mixing up 30 mils of resin. And... These are two coffee mugs. I just used, um, it's, this is some rust -O I don't know if you can read it or not. It's a rust -Oleum tape that's in the auto department. And that's what I'm going to be using. Um, uh, hello, Cynthia. I'm trying to catch everybody. So, I am going to put some alcohol ink. I mean, some resin on here and then some alcohol ink. It's probably not going to be as vibrant as the other one, the, the tumblers I did. And I also got to make sure. Oops. Oh, shoot. Well, I may have too much in there. Oh, oh that's just great, isn't it? Oh, hello, Tina, and hello, Evelyn. Miss Alabama's in the house. Roll Tide. I always say that because she's from, she's from Alabama. Okay. I'm only mixing up 30 mils. What can't you get rid of, Dina? Oh, hello, Lisa. Nice to see you here, too. And... Oh, there's more than one Cynthia here. Hello, the other Cynthia. Uh, my Fox's Baby Cakes is um, a Cynthia, too. Cynthia Becker, it looks like. I'm bad at reading names from this distance. So, anyway. These are two tumblers, tumble, tumbler turners that I bought. I heard some bad reviews about this, of course, after I bought it. It comes out, so I'm going to do it first. It likes to fall out. Someone remove what? I'm looking at live chat. Okay, I, I, I got lost there. Um, I do want to say while I'm mixing my resin, thank you all who was there for to support me. Oh, don't worry about it. You can remove it. Just go to that comment, Dina, and uh, click the three lines behind it, and the remove will come up, and you can remove it. Um, anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for being there. Oh, it's trying to tell me I need to do a, um, a keyframe. Oh, crazy K art. 
Hello, crazy. I think I got that right. How about I just call you CK? <laughs> Um, anyway, my screen keeps, um, keeps, um, um, flashing on me. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. You guys, just being there and listening to me talk Sunday helped me immensely. I mean, I still, um, I still have, you know, my moments, um, but I do have to get on with my life. And, um, and my life now is basically YouTube and my art. So, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of me and a lot more projects. Um, so, I hope everybody can put up with me. Okay, that looks like it's been mixed for about three minutes. This one turns on, I don't know if you can see it or not, it turns on from a switch that's in the cord. Um, it doesn't really have a speed on here, I don't think. No, it doesn't look like it. So that's as fast as it's going to go. Oh, uh, hello, Tish. I am doing good. Oops, see, see, even before I put the resin on it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Why is it doing this? Okay. I don't know what to do to fix it. Yeah, that fell off pretty damn fast. So, hopefully it stays on there now. Because I'm going to put the resin on it. I'm going to be up babysitting it. I can see that now. Okay. Here is my first resin. I'm just going to do fingerfuls to get it on there. No, nope, that's not going to work. I think it goes too fast, too. I did tape off the edge because I don't want resin up here when it's done. There we go. And I'm keeping an eye on it so it doesn't fall out. Um... I don't know if duct tape would help it or not. That's an idea, though, Lisa. Thank you. It would have to stay on permanently while it's uh, turning, but that's okay. It doesn't look like it's sliding out yet. And then another thing you want to do, let me see if I can turn this off just really quick when it gets up here, is... You want to do it right around the handle when you're doing coffee mugs. I did watch somebody do this. Yes, exactly, CK. If that's okay if I call you that because I can't read the rest of the name. Um, yeah, um, on a coffee mug, because you don't have a lid, you put your mouth right here. I taped it off to where... It won't be up there where you put your mouth. Although, resin is food contact safe. I don't know if it's lip contact safe. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I don't know. Okay. Let me get a little bit more on here. And you also want to make sure you do your bottom. Don't want a bare bottom. Because, um... Those uh, alcohol ink coffee cups that I did, I am going to be putting them, um, sealing them not with resin. I'm going to be sealing them with um, Mod Podge, the dishwasher is safe. Even though 
you cannot it says you can do it on the dishwasher I don't recommend it okay a little bit more just to get a nice good coating And I'm going to have to switch gloves because I don't want to get resin. Resin on my alcohol ink bottles. That could make them not open. Okay. There we go. I didn't quite use all of the 30 mil, but that's okay. Looks like every area is covered. Before I start putting alcohol inks on, I will take off my gloves and hit it with a torch real quick just to pop any bubbles let's see okay oh <laughs> okay Tish if you say so okay I'm just going over it really super quickly to pop any air bubbles because you don't want to do this after you start adding your alcohol inks because alcohol inks and fire don't mix so you safety first okay um let's see here I got two greens that I'm going to be doing. Uh, so, and this is going to be two greens, and I don't know, what goes with green? Does gold or does uh, silver go better with green? Um, who's, our, who's our green lover here? Somebody here loves green, I know that. Okay, this is the hard part is getting it to go around the bottom. I'm waiting. I know we have one person in here that absolutely loves green. Gold. Okay, thank you. I knew it was you, Brooke. I was waiting for you to answer me. But then I have also got a bad um, chat uh, lag, too, which is par for the course. Okay, there is some of the dark green now I'm gonna do that was um the Jacquard rainforest green I got links down below and now this one is a Dick Blix um, marker refill oh lord help me uh, it just says bright green so now let me add some of this. I may not have to add the white because it's got a white background. I put too much of that rainforest on there. Well, I'll, I'll put some of the... Uh, okay, let me get a little bit on the bottom. Come on, run up. Run over the edge. There we go. This is not the easy part. Um, I'm not, even though I got resin on the handle. Oh. <laughs> yep. I have seen there, seen that before, Brenda. Okay, now. Well, I don't have gold. I have brass. You know their brass looks more like gold than their gold does. Metallics, you always want to shake them up. I am loving the effects of these two greens. I am absolutely loving this. Now I'm not gonna use a um uh, not gonna use a pipette because I don't want a whole lot. So I'm gonna use a stick just to get little drops out because all my metallics seem to take over. Okay, let's see how this works. Because I've got a Prussian blue and a blush I'm going to do on the other cup as soon as I switch them around. See, I'm not going to get big globs of green or gold in there. This is a lot easier than a pipette. Oh. 
because I wanted to see how I, if I could do coffee cups on these turners that are big enough for the uh, lids. Well, I am trying my hardest, Miss Cynthia. I am trying my hardest. I mean, I've got stuff I've got to do around my apartment, like get a bunch of stuff out in storage before they decide to call inspection time, because I definitely would not pass inspection right now. It's just a HUD thing. Okay, now... Trying to get the gold on the bottom is not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, I'm liking I'm liking this. What do you think, Brooke? You're the green girl here. Hello, Ann. Nice to see you. Um, the gold that I'm using, I got that, all those, I got every color listed below the video except for the Dick Blicks because, um, it's just a Dick Blix color. Um, this is the Pinata color brass. It's a metallic color that they have. Okay, now let me see how I can switch these around without making a mess. Come on, come on. Oops. I see a little bit of drips right there. Wait a minute. I don't want to set it right in the drips. Okay. There we go. Now, let me make sure that's stuck in. Don't you dare fall on me or I'll beat your butt, cup. That used to be... I was hoping you loved it, Brooke. You're the green girl in the group. And um, so I do have links to everything except for the one Dick Blick color, which is color number 067 out of their marker refills. And um, it's called, well, just look for 067. I think they go by color numbers. I wanted to get a couple of them to compare them to the uh, Copics. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use any of that. I'm going to save it and pull out a mold here in a little bit for, what, for whatever little bit might be left over. The resin that I'm using is my all-time favorite, the most expensive one there is. It's the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. This stuff has got a working time of up to, uh, it can be worked for over an hour. I have seen some people work it up for an hour and a half to two hours. And it's um, heat resistant up to 450 degrees. And it's also UV resistant. It's the most UV resistant resin I have found. So even if I use another resin on a piece, I always clear coat with the art coat over it. Okay, let me now do. Oh, Sally, before I get my gloves all resiny, I want to show everybody. Sally made me a mask out of fabric. Isn't that so cool? Thank you very much, Sally. It came today. That was quick, too. Only 30 miles. What did it take? Two days, three days to get here. <laughs> I could have drove over there quicker than the post office. Okay, um, yes it is, Lisa, yes it is. Lisa knows, I think Lisa, I think that's the only resin Lisa uses too. Uh, senior helper, for those of you who don't know her by her name. Okay, that looks like 15 mil. I'm looking to see. Oh yeah, yeah. I have, I have heard that um, CK that it is expensive over there. 
Oh, I love all of you guys. Just made a six foot dust that he wants me to pour on it and resin it. Stone Coat is about to get all of our money. Yep, there you go. There you go, Brookie. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Is, is your mom home or is she out feeding the animals or... I went over to um I went over to Jonathan's yesterday and bought him and his mom lunch and we had lunch at their place cuz they helped me out a lot with moving stuff up and down the stairs in the building that my boyfriend lived in because I had to I had like 4 days to get everything out of there before I had to pay more rent. Um Oh, Dina, uh, you can messenger me too. Ooh, you're going to take their little class. Oh, okay. I haven't tried that one yet, nap time. That sounds like a pretty good one. Oh, okay. Hi, Katie. That's Jonathan's mom. Still got too much gold in some spots and not enough gold in the other spots, but hey, you know, that's the best I could do. I was reading, oh, okay. I was reading what Brenda was writing to. Now, is that, okay, is that K? Is your name K then? Or, because I've been calling you CK. And I know the feeling, Dina. With this COVID-19, I had nobody, really. Katie and Jonathan, they've known Joel and I for the whole 16 years. And they were giving me hugs. Because a couple people gave me hugs. They said the hell with the COVID, you know. Um... Because it's hard to grieve when you don't get the physical contact from other people. Okay. One more minute. And let me turn this guy on. Now this one has a speed controller. I like that. And now I'm watching that one to make sure it doesn't get too close to the edge. Um, you might be able to, you would have to, you would have to put a, if you're talking about a bud vase, this is too big, but I'm sure you could put the other type of vases on there. Thanks, Jonathan. Okay, let's see. I put links to mugs on Amazon. Just cut off. That was weird. Oh, yeah, it is weird, Evelyn. Anyway. Oh, I wonder if that's what I didn't have fixed on there that would start it. I just noticed something on my screen. Oh, well. Oh, I know the, I know the feeling, Dina. I know the feeling. The inside of the cup, um... Inside the actual cup, nothing. This is the foam insert that comes with it, okay? I think that's who I, Yeah, that's who asked it. Um, that's just the foam insert. And I covered each of them with the, um, with the, um, um, some saran wrap to keep them from getting sticky. Okay. Oh.
basically all you got to do is you make sure the whole cup gets covered up to the tape you don't have to worry about it going over the tape and then I'm going to stop it in a minute just to make sure I get the handle because I don't want to try to do it while it's spinning yep yep you can do that too I've got some pool noodles um, in the bedroom because they sent me another pool with this one they sent me a, a bigger one and it's like I don't have a cup that big <laughs> so I don't know how to get rid of it and Tish is probably Miss Artist Haven is probably mixing her colors that's why I've been going that's why I started going live early on a Tuesday so I could get finished in time to go moderate for her so everybody who doesn't know who the artist Haven is she goes live every day except for Sunday and she's she's all about an artist community really okay I'm trying to get um, okay let me stop this for a minute oh, see I needed it up at the top to do the handle and there we go okay let me just let me just do this handle real quick just to make sure oh eating tater tots <laughs> hope you're, hopefully you're hopefully um um you're eating something you can share with um Rhea. Ray is her new little baby kitty. Cutest thing in the world, but thinks it's a little mini bear and likes to attack things. Okay, let me get the rest of this out. And... Okay, I used up all that resin, so I got to remember a smaller cup doesn't take as much. Okay, now I'm going to pop the bubbles because you don't want to put fire on it once you got the alcohol added because alcohol and fire is no bueno. So now I'm just going to pop my little bubbles, whatever bubbles I see. Oh, you also want to be careful getting it over here. You don't want to heat up the uh, plastic or saran wrap if you got any over there okay now this one I'm going to do a little bit of Prussian blue oh you should share your food with her yeah we know Jay is not good Brooke <laughs> he won't share his fat boy snacks with us chubby girls that's okay. One time, I, I will get a big thing of ice cream and eat it on camera. And make him sit and watch the whole thing. I love this Prussian blue ink. Okay, let me see now if I can get just a little bit to drip over the edge and go across the bottom yeah somewhat okay now this is the Bria Reese Prussian blue because I wanted to use the Bria Reese just to uh, compare it to the uh, the only other company I've seen with a Prussian blue is the uh, Copic Uh, okay this is the uh, the Prussian blue and this is the Bria Reese blush and then I'm going to put a little bit of silver in there I'm 
trying not to get too much. See, it comes out like a light pink. I like that. See, there it went. There it went. You little piece of crap. <sighs> you little piece of crap. Okay, Brenda, since you've been do since I've been watching you, what's the key to that? What's the key to keeping it from falling? Um Um I could, Kay, I could. But, um, I probably will just to seal in the alcohol inks to give it that UV protectant. Okay, looks like I've got enough pink on there. Let me just do some silver and then, um, I'll try to bring the camera. Because believe it or not, I can be handy with tools when I want to be. And he's not here to do it for me anymore. So I got to put on my overalls and my work gloves and do it myself. There we go. Got the little balls moving. Hey, that, that's what's wrong. Chris isn't here to make a... Yep. I will have to do that. Although this is plastic, the, the, the thing coming out of the machine is plastic. So I'm not sure if, um, if I can drill through it okay. And the other one is metal. You know, I might try putting a little, I might do that when the live's over. Turn it off just long enough to wrap some duct tape around it. So I'm talking about the good duct tape. Try not to get too much silver because I don't want it to take over. Just trying to get one drop on all of the blues. Come on, come around, come around. I know, aha, there's one. I missed you. Okay, I'm not going to try to do any more silver on it or it may take over. Okay. Yeah, I could try that too, but I think I'd rather just, um, let me see if I can bring it back over so, so you can see it a little bit better. Um. I was thinking of just doing some duct tape right here really tight and I might even do it I might even do it on this one because oops that's not what I want there we go I want it to go the other way this one goes multi-directional now this one this one might this one right here might be cheaply made but this one is expensive, too. It, but it's made better. So, what can you do, right? Anyway, um, I'm going to do... I am going to do a short video tomorrow. It might be incorporated with another video. Um, but I will make sure... That tomorrow, as long as they don't fall apart, and I mean you, mister, um, I will make sure um, to, to post it um, on YouTube and, of course, a little one on Instagram, too. So, I do want to thank you all for coming out tonight. Sorry about the technical difficulties I had right at the beginning. Um, I don't know... Um, <laughs> well, at least I'm wrapping things up, so if you can just hold it for a minute. <laughs> um, um, so, um, I will be back. I, I don't know if I'm going to go both days this weekend, but I'd like to come back 
and do a live on the weekend like I used to do. Probably doing some alcohol ink mugs like these ones right here. These are sprayed and I was going to resin them but I'm not I'm not going to resin it. I'm going to use the Mod Podge for dishwashers. Um, so I may come back and do some of these and you never know there might be a giveaway because I never did give away some of these um, um, other alcohol inks I did like this one and this one haha <laughs> see I still have them here um, and oh come on come apart and well this one's upside down but this one so you never know what I might be doing on my alcohol ink weekend live I'll be doing alcohol inks but I might have a giveaway and of course if I do a giveaway it'll always be free shipping to the winner international shipping too will be free because it's it's a very lightweight package it's not like it weighs 10 pounds it weighs probably four ounces once I get the cardboard in there and so um I am going to let y'all go don't forget in uh, 50 minutes head on over to the artist Haven channel for her um, oh that's right it's tish talk tonight she's gonna be interviewing somebody and I love I was interviewed once and I love listening to other people being interviewed so head on over there at um, 7.30 Central Time, which is about, one clock says, <laughs> about, fi fi uh, 50 some, about 40 some minutes from now. And I love the resin right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. And don't forget to click the like button, share it with your friends if you think they might learn something or get a laugh out of it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And I always have links down below to everything I've used in my video. So don't forget to check those out. And I will just say, yeah, thank you, Tish. I will just say bye for now. And I love you guys. And I'll get the other camera fixed by next, next live. Take care, everybody.